Right, so on this list of best Android applications, first is Tweet to Pick. And so if you've ever come across a tweet so good that you wanted to share it or share it outside Twitter without taking a screenshot, you can use this application. And this app turns tweets into clean, professional looking images you can download or share directly. And the process is very simple. You either paste the tweet link into the application or use the share tool feature from Twitter itself. You can choose between light and dark themes to match your aesthetic. A cool feature is the ability to hide media if the tweet has images or videos. And if it's a reply tweet, you can hide the parent tweet to capture only the response. And Instagram fans will love the square image option for perfect sharing. It is a very neat, effective application with no ads. You could go for the pro version which unlocks customizations like color, font changes and blur effects. It is a simple application as I mentioned, feel free to try it out. Next up on the list is this mail. And since we all value privacy on our smartphones, this mail is here to add to that. It lets you generate temporary email addresses instantly, so in case you are signing up for online services, especially those one-time situations, and you do not want to use your real email address, you can engage the services of this application. And it is straightforward to use with a clean interface that makes generating, copying and pasting emails very easy. It could even let you receive, read, reply to and delete emails directly within this application. And it's got multiple language support including German, Arabic, Spanish and French, making it accessible worldwide. Great app for protecting your identity, avoiding spam and keeping your inbox organized. Next is Auto Crop, and this application makes manual cropping of screenshots a thing of the past, and it automates this process beautifully. What it does is, it automatically crops screenshots for you, and it does very well with it by cropping out the size which might be unnecessary. And of course, you can adjust the cropping by yourself, also right in the application, and the real magic is the screenshot listening service. Every time you take a croppable screenshot, you get a notification letting you crop and save on the spot without even opening the application. And some additional features include custom save directories and a smooth UI experience. It is efficient, well designed, plus it is open source, which is great. If you enjoy offline music more often, meet Groovy, which is a sleek music player built with Material 3 design principles and it takes all the boxes in terms of necessary features for an ideal offline music player application. You can search for any particular song using the search icon at the top. And something which is great is having the tabs at the bottom for quick and easy access. And playback controls are also intuitive, it's got speed adjustment, a sleep timer and several others. Unfortunately, it does not have an inbuilt equalizer, I hope it is added in future updates. However, if you have external equalizers like Wavelet installed, that shouldn't be a big issue. Groovy's design is minimal, modern and I can say it is constantly evolving. And so if you appreciate a clean, customizable music experience, this is an application worth exploring. Moving on, next up on the list is Calmeria, which is a stress management application. A breathing app that guides you through breathing exercises like 4, 7, 8, box and 7 to 11 breathing, which are all different forms of breathing. And the app is really designed for search function because the interface is neat and sets a tone for stress management. You get to choose different themes and even select which exercise you want to do, plus you can see your usage stats. In fact, the name Calmeria means calm in Portuguese, capturing its essence perfectly. And it goes into details with easy to follow visuals and a serene interface. It is a free, useful application you definitely need, especially if you get a lot of stress. One of the most popular app categories I do mention on this channel is productivity applications specifically to-do applications and here is yet another awesome to-do app called to-do one it is minimal fast and ad free application and on this you also get to track your habits as well and so when adding a task there is an option to choose whether to pass on to the following day or not so in case you couldn't go through with a specific task for the current day it automatically moves the task for the following day also you get to add subtasks and managing all these including projects is intuitive with simple gestures and a clean design. It goes both light and dark modes with a couple of accent color options to choose from. This is actually a well-designed simple application, smooth and easy to use to manage your tasks especially if you're a student. Next is an application called Stitch Photos and with it, capturing long screenshots just got easier. The app automatically stitches images whether vertically or horizontally, which is great for creating those long website captures or panoramic shots. 
and it's an easy process you just select your screenshots or images choose whether to combine them vertically or horizontally and the app aligns them plus it comes with some final saving options including specific file format and also saves in high resolution and another cool thing is the app asks you if you want to keep the original photos after saving the staged one and when saving you can choose to save the file with a custom name or just choose save photo which instantly saves to your gallery next film detox is an awesome minimal launcher i recently came across and i think you should check it out the app really helps reclaim your time since modern smartphones are engineered for engagement the launcher's minimalist interface highlights only your essential applications which you can add during the setup process removing colorful icons that trigger mindless browsing you can set up apple restrictions which lets you set limits on usage of specific applications which you can also select during the setup process there is a full focus mode which blocks access to distractions you can set custom focus durations and even let it occur daily so you won't need to set it every day you also get a note section and a to-do list when you swipe right in the app drawer you can long press on any app to move to a folder which creates an organized app drawer it also has smart notification filtering which keeps interruptions to a minimum and you can access the settings for a couple of tweaks it also has a premium version to unlock certain features but the standard version does the job well next is an application called toolbox and this app is packed with several useful utilities including qr reader stopwatch text to speech music analyzer and even a whiteboard and the best part of this application is the tool categorization which has organized all the tools into different folders so you've got an audio folder containing audio tools like music search a metronome, text-to-speech and more. You've also got a network folder, time folder containing stopwatch, time converter, a timer and more. You can also use the search feature and best of all, it is free and open source. This app actually puts a world of functionality into your pocket. Seriously, with this application, you are safe from installing several applications. And then we have a not so popular but awesome application called Docs Wallet. And if you find it difficult managing documents alongside several files in your phone storage, how about a separate application dedicated to just documents like PDFs, Word documents files, text files, and others? Docs Wallet is definitely the app for that. It aggregates all your PDFs, PowerPoints, and text files into a single searchable library. So no more digging through your downloads. You just open Docs Wallet and your documents are right here. You can use tags for enhanced organization in the app and you can view documents directly without external applications. Plus, the app scans paper documents into PDFs, efficient and a massive time saver. And so if you manage lots of documents, this application is definitely going to save you lots of time. Let me know in the comments which of these 10 applications you are interested in and also if you already use some of them. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and as always, thank you for watching.